30 seconds left. The Aurochs are launching an all-out offensive. A long pass from Letty. It goes through. Wow, what an absolute legend. That was an amazing goal. How did this team not win for 23 years? We won! We did it! We're in the finals! Not the most graceful win. If it was Chapu, he'd still be standing. Hey, aren't you being just a little unfair? Excuse me? I know I could never take Chapu's place. You're the one who told Waka that, right, Lulu? And I don't think Waka would ever try to take Chapu's... You don't want to finish that sentence. <laughs> so, you know, Lulu is still very much, you know, stuck, stuck with the whole uh, Chapu thing. She can't seem to get over... So no matter what Waka does, it doesn't seem to really impress her. But you're going to see uh, Lulu's tone slowly change as the game goes on. As she comes to kind of accept things a little more. But yeah, this is about as bitchy and annoying as uh, Lulu gets. I'll admit she pissed me off there when she said if it was Chapu, he'd still be standing. Give the guy a break, man, seriously. There we go, there's our two chests that I was after. Yeah, you really want to find these chests, because there's that magic HP sphere that I was talking about. And there's a magic sphere. Now, let's have a look. Tidus is not going to be able to use them. Tidus is not going to be able to use them for a while, but he just increases HP for the first time, so that's not too bad. Um, Yuna. Yeah, she has a while to go before she can make use of anything. So does Lulu. So, ideally, I'd want to give Lulu the magic sphere here, because obviously we want to increase her damage as much as possible. And her HP is not doing too badly. She'll be able to, by this point, she'll have pretty decent HP. That could get her through quite a bit. And I guess I could use the HP either on. Oof. Yeah. By the way, I ignored this ability. Um, this ability extracts speed. If you use it to attack an enemy, let's say they normally drop power spheres, this will make them drop. Uh, this will make them drop. This will make them drop speed spheres instead. So yeah, but uh, to be honest, if you fight regular battles, it's really not going to be needed. So, I mean, I don't think I ever remember using the extract abilities. So, yeah, I'm just going to ignore that. So yeah, I'm not using the HP and the Magic Sphere for now, but trust me, they will come in handy. Because when you find these kind of spheres, they're always the um, the top tier, and sometimes a bit more. So the HP Sphere gives you plus 300 rather than the standard 200, and the Magic Sphere gives you plus 4. So they are very useful. Okay, the time has come to do some blitzing, and hopefully I don't let myself down here, and I can win the match first time. But it doesn't matter how many times you've done it, it can sometimes be impossible to win the first game. Sure you are right, Captain. The game starts in a few minutes. You sure you okay? We're playing the cores too. Miss me? Lady Yuna! Are you okay? All this because of me. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, how can you let some outbed kidnap you? Hey, let it go, alright? 
Don't go near our bed anymore, okay? They're trouble. <laughs> Okay, let's hope Kimari does a better job this time of protecting Yuna because the last time she got kidnapped. But you're going to see more of Waka's uh, Albed hatred, which is, well, effectively kind of racism. So, can't be denied. You're going to see more of it as we go on. And you're going to understand the reason for it as well. Obviously, as you can see, he's a very religious guy anyway. And uh, the Albed are, are not religious. And as we move further on, you're going to see... Just why it dislikes the Albed so much. Alright, let's get going. <clears throat> ah, the game starts soon. No time for warm ups. Ready? Let me at him. Alright. I got something to tell you, boys. After this game, I'm retiring. I promised myself this would be my last tournament. Win or lose, I'm quitting Blitzball. But you know, since we're here, we might as well win. Yeah! Uh, am I on the bench? I'm warm on the bench. He's taking my place. All right, boys, let's win this one. Let's make the goers goners. Let's play it. <gasps> I saw you floating there on the sphere. Oh. Hey, you weren't supposed to see that. You really gave it your all, didn't you? Well played, Walker. Well played. All right, boys, what are we going to do? Win! For Captain Walker. This is it, folks. In just a few minutes, the championship game. Slick moves there from Waka. I'm sure he felt really tired and had to fall on t onto her chest. But Lulu seems to have softened up a little bit. But who could have imagined? A championship game between these two teams. Our legendary Luca Goers going against the horrendously ill-fated Besaid Aurox. This looks like history in the making, Baba. So, the rumours were true. The great man has turned up to the Blitzball tournament. Are taunting the Aurochs. 
Excellent. Okay, straight away I'm just going to explain what just happened there. Um, obviously it starts off with a blitz off and as far as I know it's a 50-50% chance of either the opposing team getting it or you getting it. So already things have gone in my favour and I've ended up getting it. But what you'll notice the first time you actually play, um, the characters are going to move about on their own. So in order to, to gain manual control you have to press triangle and bring it to, to manual, otherwise you won't be able to control where they swim. And it's, I'm pretty sure it's critical to be able to do that. Okay, I'm going to switch to manual and then I'm going to try and already set up an attack and we'll talk more about it as it happens. Okay, normal. Okay, so up top obviously you can see Letty's stats and I'll explain what each one of them means as we progress. Okay, so here we go. Well, once a player catches you and they get within a close enough vicinity, you're going to enter uh, like a break phase, let's call it. And what happens here is you have the a person opposing you, and this could be multiple people, depending on how many of them are chasing you down. And you always have a choice. And when you're the attacking player, you always have a choice. You'll either have the choice of breaking, which basically means trying to go past the player and retain the ball, or you can not break and uh, pass or shoot without having the other player tackle you. So how do you make this decision? First of all, you need to look at the EN score for Letty, which is seven. So think of that as like his endurance to, to tackles. And Abbas here has three AT, and AT is effectively tackling. So basically you do the maths. So he has three tackling and you have seven endurance. So that leaves four. So it's a positive number. So basically uh, you're gonna be able to survive if he tries to tackle you. So you can break him like Bane and then you have a choice. So either you pass, shoot, or you dribble. And obviously, there's his passing stat, 10, and shooting stat is 4. So I'm going to dribble, and you're going to see uh, Abbas fail to take the ball from me now. Okay. So obviously, you're going to be thinking, hold on a minute, sh shouldn't there be 4 left? Why was there 5? And this is where the annoying part of the game comes in. What happens is um, there is a random number generator in play here. So when it comes to things like tackling, blocking, uh, goalkeepers trying to save shots, there's always a random number generator. So things don't work out exactly as you plan them to. There's a there's a luck element involved. So it can it can go for anywhere from let's say let me pass it to Tidus and that way I can explain the random number generator a bit more easily. And you can see that passing depletes quite slowly. So with 10 pass you can practically pass them anywhere. Okay, so um, I have a choice here. If I don't break, then I can shoot without having to let Doran tackle me. But she has five blocking points, so by the time I shoot and it reaches the goalie, uh, it's, it's going to drop to five. And that's not a good idea. So she has less tackling points than I have endurance, so mathematically I should be able to get through. But there's a random number generator, so even though the odds are in my favour, there is a small chance, well not small, but there is there is a smaller chance of Doram actually taking the ball from me. But we're going to play the odds and see what happens. See, there you go. So even though she had less uh, tackling ability than my endurance, she still took the ball away from me. And to be honest, that is just bad luck. There is, there is nothing more to be said about that, and you just have to learn to live with it. See, that time nothing happened, it was just uh, everything worked out as it should. And sometimes this will happen, even though she has players opposite her, the game won't register a break, and all you'll be able to do is try and block any potential pass that she makes. So yeah, that is why uh, Blitzball can be very difficult, especially in this first game, because even if you're doing everything right, if the random number generator doesn't play ball, then you're going to struggle. And actually, instead of Tidus, Datto might be able to score him. And to be honest, Datto is pretty useful because, as you can see, his endurance is pretty high. So this guy has to do 50% better than his uh, tackling score to be able to get the ball. And that's highly unlikely. So I should be able to retain this ball, barring a minor miracle. There you go, that was a crap attempt. He did 50% worse than he should. Okay, this is 50-50. You see, he saved it. Fuck. So yeah, that shot that I took there, that could have also gone in if the generator played in my favour, but wasn't lucky enough. So a lot of the time with Blitzball, it's going to be 
you know, playing the numbers and just uh, seeing what happens. So yeah, at first it's really going to annoy you when, you know, you do the, the calculation in your head and you think, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. But it's something that you have to live with. There's not much you can do to change it other than make your players better. Whoa, why did it drop to zero? That was like a glitch that shouldn't have happened. I'm not sure why that happened. And if you want to gain uh, experience points for your players and level them up, you need to basically do stuff with them. So you need to pass, you need to shoot, you need to tackle. So make sure that you're always trying to, to use your players' skills. You see, what I try to do is I try to draw the defender out here and leave Tidus at least one-on-one. -on -one. And if Tidus manages to get past the defender, then usually it's a goal. But you'll be noticing that the jack shot isn't available yet. So let's try and break. She got me last time, so hopefully this time I should be able to get through. Yep, you see this time it was, uh, it was okay. Okay, so if I can do this one more time, I'll get a free shot. And hopefully, because my shooting is higher than the goalkeeper's catching ability, it should go in. But again, it's a luck game. Let's see what happens. Oh, just about. This should hopefully be a goal. Statistically, it should be a goal. There we go. So that's the first one. But it could easily have, have gone the other way. If, uh, if the goers catch the, the first blitz off, then because their stats are a lot higher than, than the Aurochs, then there's a, they could go straight through on goal and actually score a goal without you being able to do a single thing. So taking all things into consideration, don't be surprised if you lose this first game. But it'd be wise to have a save beforehand so you can go back to it and try again if it doesn't work out for you. Oh. Yeah, you see, now I'm in trouble. I'm probably going to lose the ball here. Okay, I might be able to keep it. So obviously, at the moment, breaking is a, is a silly idea because uh, there's a very low chance that Doram's not going to be able to take the ball from me. So I'm forced into not breaking here. So once I pass, uh, these two are going to try and block and I'll have about three passing points left. And that's not going to get the ball very far. So the only chance I have is to try and get it to Datto and uh, hope that these two don't punch above their weight and block the ball more than they should. Okay, and there's a small chance that sometimes they can't block the ball at all, but you can't really factor that in. That's very unlikely to happen. And obviously the HP figure, um, depending on how many you know how many points it takes to, to do your action, your HP is going to deplete. But when you're off the ball, it will uh, continue to rise. But it becomes more of a factor once you start to use special abilities. Because if you'll notice, we don't have the check shot yet. Ah, there you go. <laughs> she had three less tackling points, but she still took the ball. Bitch. Damn it. And it's half time. So yeah, usually in the first half it's, uh, it's more difficult to score, so I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Yeah, that was good. Okay, so Tynus has gone up a level, and once you hit level 3, you'll be able to use special abilities. So this is where the jack shot will come in. So the first, uh, the first half that you play, you'll never be able to use the jack shot. It's just not something that's allowed. But in the second half, we'll be able to make use of it. Hopefully, score another goal at least. So on defense, boys, stop those goals. <sighs> what about me? Get the ball and just shoot like crazy. Goers are going down. Yeah. Shoot like crazy. Now. All right, hustle. That's what I like to see: some hustle, some team spirit. Okay. So normally this is the, the default ability that Tynus has, Sphere Shot, and it's actually a really good ability. It adds quite a lot of uh, it adds quite a lot of points. But the Jack Shot, as you can see here, so it adds five shooting points to whatever you already have, and it knocks away two players, so you don't have to bother with allowing them to tackle you. So that is an invaluable ability, and there is not another player that has an ability like it. So that is absolutely critical. So that's what we want. 
Uh, Letty is also level 3, so he has an ability, and he has Venom Pass. There you go. And that adds 3 passing, and it can also, I think it has a 30% chance of poisoning the person trying to block the ball. And when you get poisoned, your HP depletes a lot more quickly than normal. Okay, so don't need to talk too much more in depth about Blitzball text because that's a whole different thing. And to be honest, I've never bothered to, to get all of the techniques for all the players. So it might be something I have to do for this playthrough, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay, so when you mark a player, it says makes players follow their mark in mark mode and learn their techniques. So, for example, this guy called Grav has an ability called Elite Defense. But because it's not highlighted in blue, Tidus won't be able to learn it. So there's no point in following him for it. But he can learn Drain Tackle. So, just put it there. So yeah, every player has certain techniques that they're able to learn, and certain key techniques as well. And by playing different teams and marking different players, you'll be able to eventually learn all of the abilities that you need to learn. Alright, let's kick off the second half. So again, 50-50% chance of winning the Blitz off here. I was lucky again. And hopefully I should be able to try and set up Tidus with, uh, with a check shot. But you need to be very careful. Because uh, it takes 120 HP and that effectively means you're only going to get one shot at doing it. So if you fail, then... Uh, then you're not going to be able to use it again. So I'd be very careful. Ah, shit. See, I got too close. I didn't think the second defender was going to come. Fuck. So I've missed an opportunity here, for example. So I have to take my chances and hope that she doesn't perform as well as she should. And then just uh, make a pass. Drain tackles are quite hard to, to copy. So if you saw for a moment uh, a word called tech copy flashed on the screen. And uh, when you see that, if you press X, when it goes white, as far as I know, then you'll be able to um, copy that technique. I don't know how Letty made it out of that one, to be honest, but somehow I did. And now we get to see the Jack Shine action. I have been pretty lucky here. Okay, so already he has 11 shoot, but it's going to go up to 16. But you're going to see his HP drops to 40 after this, so, you know, it's only a one-time deal, so make sure you use it at the right time. This is going to look quite funny because he's way too close to the goal, but I'm not taking any risks. There we go. So Rowdy actually did better than his 8 catch, but obviously because uh, the shot was too good, so it wasn't enough. So from here on out, I should be pretty much safe. I doubt I'll let in two goals. And of course, what you can do, um, there is a cheap way of uh, winning this game. If you can score one goal, as far as I know, if you send it back to your defenders and uh, go to your own goal line, then it's unlikely that they're going to come for you. and You can just uh, sit and, and wait for the five minutes to finish. So this guy shot from the halfway line and keeper almost let it in. So this is how bad our team actually is so it is worth noting that the guy had nine shoot and he almost scored a goal from the halfway line so think about it <laughs> i think bixen has 12 shoot and uh Abus has 13 so yeah if they do get the ball and they are open on goal they will score goals so you have to be very careful oh man This woman, she just seems to pop out from everywhere. Damn it. Okay, but if we add their blocks together, it's only going to be 9. And if I use Venom Pass, I'll have 14 Pass. So I, sh so I should still have like 5 Pass left over here. And that should be enough to um, to get the ball to Titus. But you see, I'm going to get the ball to Titus here, and he's going to be swarmed with defenders. So there's not much point in doing that. Because he doesn't have the jet shot anymore, he's not going to be able to get himself out of trouble. Ugh, it's an annoying bastard, this guy. So, elite defense enables him to um, 
can get into more encounters from further away, so you're going to find him constantly getting in the way, like this. And because his stats are really good for a midfielder, if I try to break him, there's a good chance he's going to take the ball from me. And if I try to pass, there's a good chance he's going to block me. So this one is closer, it's only 8-7, to seven, so I have to take my chances here. There you go. Again, I've been I've been lucky in this uh, in this one. I have to say, he's not going to be able to do anything to me. I'm going to try and set Tidus up with one more chance if I can. There we go. That's the window I was looking for. Again, like with anything, it just uh, it takes a little bit of experience to really find just find your feet with this game. Okay, if I'm lucky one more time, I should be able to score another goal. Nah, my luck ran out. <laughs> so if I just scored that, it would have been three. And once you hit the three minute mark, this happens. The fans are getting impatient. They're calling for some action. Everyone seems to be calling for Waka, folks. Everyone seems to be calling for Waka, folks. Say, where is that player going? He's leaving the sphere pool. He may be injured. Yeah, so a little bit of a, a strange decision here, despite the fact that we're 2 0 up. To be honest, I did kind of feel left out, but. It really was the Oryx and Waka show, after all. I wonder what's happening. The crowd is going wild! Oh, it's Waka! He's back on the field and ready to go! The Oryx seem glad to have him back. Okay, so Walker's decided to join the field and Tyler's has been a good guy once again and decided to to kind of take a back seat. And they won the blitz off again, bloody hell, three in a row. Okay. I am not making that same mistake twice. Get this guy out of the way first. But obviously I think the game assumes that you're probably having a tough time. And um, obviously it's a it's a stupid move to take out Tidus in this situation, but it's one of those things, that's the way the game has uh, has played it out. There's nothing you can do about it, so regardless of whether you're you're five and up at that stage, Titus will have to come off and be replaced by Waka. But at least Waka's a pretty good player, so it's not too bad. But ideally, obviously, you'd want uh, Waka and Titus playing together up front. Okay, so the last time we had an 11 versus 10 situation, I lost the ball, but hopefully this time it plays in my favour. And Waka has a Venom shot for a little bit of extra sting. Fuck it again, come on. Yes, yeah, it's, it's one of those things. I'm sure overall, most of the time it balances out. So I did get quite a few lucky moments. So it's only fair that this happens to me now. 
But as you can see, things go wrong sometimes. So Jasu here with the with the blonde hair, he was not part of this break. And if he was, he would have taken the ball there. So this right now is unfair because I should have had this ball. But depending on how they play it here, you see that was just a stupid move. So the AI is not the most intelligent, I'm afraid. But some people really, really love Blitzball, and I don't mind it in uh, in small amounts, but I could not spend hours and hours playing it. Oh, come on. Really? That's bullshit. Okay, this guy has 13 shooting, so you can tell that he's not playing around. But as you can see, when the goers get the ball, it's very difficult to get the ball back, and they've and Walker didn't even get a chance to do anything. So there you go. This game could have gone very differently, but I managed to make it through. There we go, the Aurochs are the champions. Yeah. Take that, douchebags. <laughs> okay, yeah, didn't really get to do too much this half. I could have scored two more goals if I was uh, lucky. With those two 11 versus 10 encounters, I could have had another couple more goals if I was even luckier. But there you go, this is your team. They pretty much suck. But when I do play Blitzball, what I will do is always uh, stick with the Aurochs because I just I just like using the original team and it's more of a challenge as well. So yeah, I'll talk a little bit more about Blitzball in a minute because there is uh, there is still some more blitzing to be done in this game, but not right now. And this is your reward. So I've told you about these spheres already, they're very useful. And thanks to this we'll be able to give a character plus four strength, which does make a difference at this stage of the game.